Okay, so we linked um, sort of a model uh, SAT file into Revit using a generic model, and there's a way to do it with Dynamo that's a little bit more automated, so we're going to take a look at that. Um, so I'm just going to maybe make this guy a little smaller over here, and open up Dynamo here. Well, oh, not much real estate, but that's all right. Someday we'll be able to record with two screens. So Dynamo is a visual programmer that comes with Revit. Um, it's actually embedded, I think, since 2018. And so, ooh, this is going to be tough. All right. Even get a hold of it anywhere there. Pull it over a little bit. Try it this way. See if that'll work. So I'm going to open up this Dynamo definition. And we'll take a look at it. And what this Dynamo de definition basically does is it goes and gets a file. It imports that file. So this one's going and getting a SAT file. And then the node that we're using here is actually Springs Family Bi Geometry, and it's a custom plugin. Um, and for some reason, it gets the scale wrong. So we have to rescale the geometry. It brings it in in meters, and we want it to be in feet, so we just have to do a little rescaling here before we put it into the spring form, the springs geometry. If you need to get the springs nodes, you can go to Packages and search for a package, and it'll bring up the online package search. It takes it a minute to sync with the server, and then you can go to Spring... Spring nodes and download this guy. If you just click the install latest version, it will do that and it should get you this node. Okay, so basically we bring the geometry and scale it, and then this family instance by geometry takes that geometry, uses a template path that we give it, and assigns it a family name, assigns it a category, and assigns it a material if that material is present in the uh, template file, which is great. So for example, I've got most of this set up. I'm going to go ahead and plug my geometry into this geometry. I'm going to browse for my SAT file. So if I go to my SATs, I'll get P1, click open. And also you notice I have my run on manual, so it's not running constantly. So I went and got that file. Now I want to make sure that my other file paths are correct and that my naming is correct. I just got P1, so I'd like it to name it P1. And I have three materials in that template, M1, M2, and M3, and so I'm going to assign M1 to P1. I do want it to categorize as a generic model, and I'm going to browse to that template. So I'm going to click on Browse. I'm going to go to my Revit folder. And the templates have got to have an RFT on them, and it has to be based on the original Revit templates. So the generic model template, we'll sh I'll talk to you guys about where that comes from. If you go to File, New, or Family, New, Generic Model, that's where this one comes from. And then new conceptual mass is where this one comes from. We're going to use the generic model with the materials in it. Click open. Make sure that's path correctly. So it looks like everything's okay, right? So we'll go ahead and run this guy. And it'll think for a minute. And it'll place several different versions. So here in Dynamo, you see it, right? So I go back to the definition. And then here in Revit, you see it and the Dynamo representation. So if I come in here and get rid of the preview, you see this guy has been placed in here. And if I go to my composition sheet, you'll see that it's been placed in here with a particular material, right? And then if I wanted to replace that or replace the material, 
I could use the materials in the template. So for example, if I wanted to put a new material on it, I could say M2 and run that. It'll think for a minute. And it'll replace it with the M2 material. I need to get rid of the preview here. Right, get rid of that so it's not overlapping. Um, and you can start to see how all of that is working. Okay, now in the Revit model, if I go to my materials, I'll have, let's go to those M, let's go, certainly it's not going to, M1. So I'll have that M1 material in here that I can affect, about M2. Right, so there's that M2 material that I can affect. So I could go in and say, change the appearance of it. Make it something really obnoxious. Right, and it'll update there as well. So I automatically have a material assigned and, and accessible, which is really great um, considering that. Now I can also come in and let's replace the SAT. So if I go in there, go back to my SAT files and get two and click open and then run that guy again. It'll update that guy. And again, it's plonking the, sorry, this guy, For some reason the preview gets a little wonky. So now it's doing the new version. So you have a really quick, fast way to get a generic model. You can do this with masses as well. You just have to use the category mass and a template that comes from the masses. And we'll talk about that later.